This instructional video will go over Latitude's version 6 motion detection setup and application. In this video you will find in, in regards to setting up a motion detection profile. Motion detection can be used for triggering alarms, starting a recording, ramping up a recording quality, or anything else a user might want to do. Let's take a moment and look at what a motion detection profile is comprised of. A motion detection profile is comprised of four different settings. We'll actually look at what these settings do when we get into the software in a few minutes. Sensitivity describes a threshold related to the degree of change or motion of a single motion block. The motion on threshold, the threshold in which when passed a motion event occurs. The motion off threshold, the threshold in which passes a motion event turns off. Consecutive frame hit. The number of consecutive frames which should pass the motion on threshold in order to change the state to a motion on event. Let's take a look and see how this is accomplished. In order to create our motion detection profile, first we will have to access Admin Center. On the left hand side, choose the Video tab. Select the camera where motion detection is desired. Choose the motion detection tab at the top. Before we begin setting up motion detection, we will need to check what type of motion detection is supported by this camera. This information can be found under the Capabilities drop-down. As you can see, this camera will support archiver-based full-screen motion detection and archiver-based zone motion detection with up to six independent zones. Let's start configuring our motion detection profile. The first thing we'll need to do is add a coverage for our profile. This is when we would like our motion detection to be active. Next we'll choose our type, archiver zones, or archiver full screen. Let's start with archiver zones. Next, we need to set up a zone for on-screen usage. Go ahead and click the Add New Zone button, give the zone a name, click OK, and this would bring us to the point where we could start configuring our motion detection zone. However, a valuable tool within the software is the ability to see all the motion that is occurring on the screen. Down where you see Edit Zone, there's a little drop-down box. Go ahead and display all motion on screen, and this will give you an idea if you might run into any problems areas with your motion detection. As you can see, I'm currently using a camera which is situated outdoors, which is probably one of the least desirable locations for a camera for motion detection, but it gives us an idea of what we're looking at. Now that I'm ready to set up my zone, I'm going to change from Display All Motions to Edit Zone. And once I go to Edit Zone, you'll notice that a toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen has now highlighted for our use. We have different options over here for editing our zone, marking a rectangle on the screen by choosing and being able to mark an entire area. We can mark single blocks with the mark macro block. We can unmark specific blocks or making an area that we would like masks within a zone. We can mark the entire screen which would do the same thing as selecting archiver full screen from the drop down list or we can unmark all. What I'll start with is actually marking an entire zone over an area of motion detection interest. Once I have my zone set on screen, I will need to change from edit zone to test zone so that I can additionally configure the motion detection parameters listed below. Changing the sensitivity, motion on, motion off thresholds, and consecutive frame hits. As you can see, there's limited motion currently on screen. As I adjust the sensitivity up, my zone becomes more sensitive. 
changing my consecutive frame hits a little bit lower to get the desired effect. Noticing the red motion indication border around the screen as this indicates that there is a motion event active as the indicator is staying above the motion on threshold. Let's take a few extra seconds and discuss the motion on and motion off thresholds as these options can become quite useful especially in the incidents that you have that you have a constant motion presence on the screen. As you'll notice where my motion on and motion off thresholds are currently set up it is keeping it from actually it is almost keeping it from setting off a motion detection event. If there was a constant motion presence in this area I could set my motion on threshold basically right up to the point where it would take something extra to occur within that zone in order to make this a motion on event as well as being able to set my motion off threshold just above where the motion detection is at so that it will remain off and only turn on once it reaches above the on point. This gives you the ability to work with areas of interest that may already have some form of motion taking place. Once our motion detection zone is complete, the next thing we need to ask ourselves is what are we going to use motion detection for? There are a few different options. Number one and probably the most popular is record upon motion. Recording upon motion can be set up right from the record upon motion tab listed below. If you want to record upon motion, simply check the record upon motion box. If you'd like the bookmark motion on events checked, pre-recording events, usually set to about 10 seconds. This will give you 10 seconds pre-alarm and stop recording X amount of seconds after the motion event turns off, ideally around 10 to 15 seconds. Stop recording again after X amount of seconds of motion on is also another choice that may be used. When setting up record upon motion, the first thing we'll need to do once all this is set is save our work. Once our work is saved, we'll need to go back to the general tab and look at our record duration lifespan listed below. Here's where you can set up the expiration or lifespan of the motion detection recording. Default is set to 45 days and can be adjusted to the desired level by making the change and clicking the save button to ensure that our motion detection recordings will be saved for the proper duration. One other popular function of motion detection is the ability to change the quality of the video being recorded. Let's take a look at how this is accomplished. This can be done from the camera's action tab, right clicking on zone motion on, selecting the set recording quality, choosing the coverage, the zone can be used at either any zone or the zone that we created selecting the camera, choosing the recording duration, how long we would like our quality enhanced for, and lastly choosing the profile from the list below. Saving and now our camera will record upon motion at a higher quality rate.